Hello everybody, it's Wendy and today we're going to make a very, very quick and simple pair of earrings using some of the products from August Bargain Beadbox. So if you are not familiar with Bargain Beadbox, it is a monthly subscription service. You get about $65 to $70 worth of findings, beads, gemstone beads, um, just all kinds of great stuff, charms. Anything you need pretty much to make some jewelry. Um, I usually get 10 or 12 jewelry pieces out of each box. And it is shipped to your door for $17.98 a month. So it's really a great deal. Um, and then when you sign up for Bargain Beadbox, you also get access to their store. And you get a 30% off coupon that allows you to shop all month long on that 30% off coupon in their store. So it really is... A great subscription service and um, if you're interested I'll have a link in the description box below um, with a coupon code for two dollars off your first box so today we are going to use these elongated bicones from this month's bargain bead box these little um, sea glass looking I think they're called um, sea opal little rondelles and we're going to use these little spacers from this month's bargain bead box and we're going to use the bead caps from this month's bargain bead box. So the things that are not from the box that you'll need are a pair of ear wires. Um, I've got two little rhinestone rondelles here. These are about six millimeter, I believe, five or six. Two head pins and a pair of wings. Now these wings are available on my website if you're interested in that. And you'll need your jewelry tools. So this is very, very quick and simple. And I made these for craft shows at Christmas time last year and sold a bunch of them. So I'm going to show you how I do it. So the first thing you want to do is take your head pin. Go ahead and put your bicone on. Okay. And then we're going to put our bead cap on. Just like this. Then we're going to put our wings on. Now you can put these however you want. Um, if you can tell, there's a shorter side and a longer side. So you can make the longer side down or the shorter side down. I tend to like to do the longer side down. I just think it looks cute. Then we are going to do our little daisy spacer. Our little rondelle. And here's what you'll have. And then we're going to put our little sparkly rhinestone on stop on top which will make her little halo okay so then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take your chain nose pliers now you want to bend this down as close as you can get it to the um, edge of the rondelle because you don't want her wiggling around a whole lot so just bend that in a 90 degree angle then we're going to take our cutters and i usually cut about my fingers width there or a little bit less right about there and then we're going to take our round nose pliers and we are going to roll a loop okay just like that and there you have it you can make it tight you want it to be kind of tight because you don't want all this flopping too much and there you have a cute little angel. And we're going to go ahead and open up our ear wire. Hang her on there. And that is literally all there is to it. What did that take me? Like 60 seconds, if that. And you have an adorable little angel. Now this is kind of, you can straighten that up. If it's kind of leaning to the side, which mine is, you can kind of take your head pin and straighten it up there and there she is she's adorable yeah her halo doesn't want to stay straight I must have made my loop weird I'll have to fix it but let's go ahead and make the next one so again we take our bicone and put it on take our bead cap take our wings long side downs how I like to do them little daisy spacer rondelle Okay, just like this. And then we're going to bend this down 90 degrees. Go ahead and cut that off. And then take our round nose pliers and roll that loop back. And I broke my head pin. Did you see that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
That is something wonderful for the video. Thank you. Nice strong head pin there. Let me grab another one. I don't think I've ever had that happen when I was making a loop before. Of course it would have to happen on video. All right. Somebody must have needed to see this step again. <laughs> there we go. We're going to put this on, then our rondelle, and then our... There we go. I'm telling you, these round nose pliers from Zeron, they're beefy. <laughs> they will really... Um, you got to be careful with them. Okay. Cut this off. Try it again. I actually had a video that I did the other night of the bracelets that I have on right now. And um, it turned out so bad that I didn't even bother to upload it. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, sometimes this works out good and sometimes it doesn't, <laughs> this videoing thing. But we will go ahead and hang her on here. And I sold these for about $10 a pair at the craft show I did last year at Christmas time. And they sold like crazy. I mean, everybody loved them. They really are cute. So there she is. Quick and simple little angel earrings. You can make up tons of them, all different colors, however you want to do them for craft shows. And yeah, they're really cute and people love them. So that's it for this video. I told you it was quick and simple. Um, like I said, the wings are on my website. And if you're interested in Bargain Bead Box, I will... Um, Put a link in the description box below and you guys have a great rest of the evening. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.